Welcome to episode 9 of the Square Drop Trailer Build. I haven't uploaded anything in a couple weeks. We got everything painted again. I'll show you. So we got the painted diamond plate on trim on this piece is off because I was putting the lights in and I used Sikaflex around them and I didn't want to get it on there so that's why that piece is off we got a jerry can mounted that is actually for my my heater my Webasto it's gas not diesel Actually bought it from my van years ago and never used it so the orange is a little darker than I wanted it's a little redder it's called hemi orange so but it's good trim toned out turned out good this side still gonna be sealed Sides all sealed. And then we also got the last night I sorry it's really dark. We glued the uh, put the door frame in. So we're gonna work on stuff today. Again, I got the tent off the truck, off the Jeep the roof and this is going to be more complicated than I thought because this underneath is actually sewn to the tent itself I was hoping this would just come out and all the supports are riveted in place on both sides so lots of drilling and I'm gonna to have to cut it and I didn't really want to cut the fabric but we'll do what we gotta So it's coming along and keep filming. So this is the outer door jam. It's all, all TIG welded here. I took it to a local welder. I'd like to take credit for it, but I'm not that good. So now we're working on the inner door jam where the hatch is actually gonna contact. And this will be a rubber molding here. So I'm fitting that in, trying to figure out the best way to do it. Info sponge brazed his, I tried brazing it, I can't do it and it's weird because I braze for a living, <laughs> copper and stuff. So, but I'm going to fit that in right now and then we'll, I might do a test TIG weld because I do have a TIG welder. So. That's today's project. So, piece this piece in, and this piece, and they're well, they fit really well. I'm just wondering if I should try to TIG those before I go too much farther to make sure I can do it. I have TIGged aluminum before. I'm just not, what's the word, consistent at it. I'll do one good weld and then one crap weld and I'll ruin the whole piece. And that's what's going to be ang making me angry if that happens. So I think, oh, we'll go in front of the trailer, set up the TIG welder, and try to TIG this real fast. And see if we may work. It's half an hour later. Pretty major, not major, but change in plans. My TIG welder, I don't have any gas for. And my 7025 won't work from my MIG welder. So we're going to go ahead and try to braze this again. I made a error. I should have built this all, took it to the welder, had him take it all, because I can't put the pieces in as one big piece. I have to do them one at a time. That was my error. So we're gonna have to try to heat this up right here and see if we can do a good job. I'm gonna try again and I'll take you along for the ride. We're using this brazing rod I picked up from Home Depot. It's aluminum and a map gas torch. It's the beast. 
really possible. It actually looks better on the inside. Nice bead on the inside. So I got these all riveted in place. I still got to braise this side, but I'm working on this. I'm just thinking ahead a little bit. Got this hinge, I forgot what they call them already, but I've seen guys put them on the inside. It just seems to me like it should, should cut the inside here so it fits in the opening while the top side goes over the goes over this so it's this long i hope that makes sense so you cut the inside hinge to fit this the outside just the i don't know <laughs> not explaining it very well sorry the furnace is on I'm just trying to think ahead here a little bit. Okay, no, I'm wrong. It's not, it shouldn't go past. It should fit. You can see there's this lip and this lip. So this closes. This is the, where the door would sit and this is the frame of the trailer. So this would sit inside here But I'm not liking it. I'm thinking when I watched Info Sponge's video, I'll put a link in the description for his channel. He didn't do anything up here. I'm thinking I might put a piece here to finish this off. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. Put a piece here all the way across, then mount my hinge on through that like that. So we'll have a finished edge here. Otherwise you're going to see the steel, which looks like poo. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the piece. I definitely like that better. It makes more sense to me. Uh, Maybe I'm not thinking right, but it does make more sense to me to have that there like that. And then the hinge. Goes like this. Of course, inside, cut. And then this pops open like that, of course, with a strut, gas strut. I think that's how we're going to do it. So I got that piece sanded and fitted in. 
We're gonna throw some Sikaflex across. Wear gloves. My hands are still very dirty from this. Yeah, we're gonna clamp it for a little while. Then we'll let that sit for a while and uh, move on to something else. We got the door frame done, sealed, painted, ready for the hatch. I'll link InfoSponge's video in the description down below so you can check out his. I just followed what he did. His probably turned out a little better than mine, but it'll work. So the next thing we gotta do is start working on the hatch when we get to that point. But it turned out all right. It's still a little sticky from paint, so I'm not gonna touch it. But thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for subscribing, all the new subscribers. It's awesome. I appreciate it. Much more to come. Still got the tent to put on the roof. All the interior. So thanks for watching.